We're taking you inside the world of DIY cosmetic procedures with our investigative producer, Leslie, and her interview subject, Kim, who is spearheading this movement. Also joining us now is Julie, a cosmetic nurse. And Julie, thank you for being here. You've been listening to some of the conversation. I just want you to comment on, from your perspective, when you see what Kim is doing in this online community, what are your thoughts? When I first saw your video of you doing your lips, my heart leapt to my chest because all I can think about is the countless people mutilating themselves and, and getting, destroying their lives. So I reached out to you on social media and right away I said, pl I pleaded with you, please take your video down because somebody's gonna get hurt. A lot of somebody's could be hurt. And you called me a hater and then you blocked me. So I reached out to my injector trainer community where we are very, very tight. And I said, please help me get through to Kim. She's, this is really horrible. horrible. And, and they saw your video and they all reached out to you with love, with compassion. And you call them names as well and you block them as well. So uh, I, I just thought about it and I'm the one who called the FDA on you. I've never heard from the FDA. They're, they're on the case. And, and then the community, our community, made all kinds of phone calls to the State Board of Nursing, the State Medical Board. We called MERS. So together, we got your video taken down. Yeah, I know. What you did is absolutely horrifying. And let me tell you something. You are marketing an illegal product to people who know nothing about what they're doing. And marketing an illegal product is extremely dangerous. I'm not marketing any specific product. How are you gonna feel, Kim? How are you gonna feel when a little girl who's really insecure, 14 years old. I don't let 14 how are you gonna, girls how, in my group. What about how YouTube? You what about your them? YouTube? What about so, YouTube? Wait, let's, let me finish. What about this 14 year old girl hates this bump in her nose and she goes and fixes it with whatever she bought online with Foxy whatever. And then she puts it in her nose and her nose rots off. Her life is destroyed. What are you gonna say to that? Yeah, I don't want that happening. And then so don't she, put videos on so, YouTube. Am I, wait a minute, am I the only one? Who, wait. Am I the only one who has filler of Botox videos on YouTube? You're the only one who knows nothing about what you're doing. There are other people who are unlicensed with you're, videos you're on YouTube. You're the only one that I saw, and I don't know if I see right. another one with somebody else, I will call the FDA Why don't you just too. search them up you on know YouTube what? because I have better, plenty of others. I have, I'm busy, but our community is not, is all together. We will do whatever Your it takes to do. Our community was actually extremely vile to me. So when you paint this, that you reached out to me in some kind, loving form. I Maybe did. you personally did. I definitely did. But I had so much attack from your community, be it on Instagram, be it on YouTube. I was all day long blocking vile comments from these injectable nurses. And we, Julie, I know you personally were kind of fueled to do this because you had a terrible experience, even with exactly. an experienced injector, correct? Can you share that yeah. a little bit? So I don't know if you know, but my the left side of my cheek actually was injected by a very qualified, beautiful, wonderful, trained, skilled injector. And she got into my infraorbital artery and my skin died and it rotted off. So half of my face looked like a slab of pizza for a year. And so that's when I decided, I decided then and there, I was either gonna do something else with my career. I'd been injecting 11 years at that time and this is nine years ago. I was either gonna do something else with my career or I was gonna dedicate my career to safety and to teaching people um, good techniques and safe techniques so that nobody else ever suffers losing half of their face. Because it is horrifying to feel like a monster and still go on with your life. You know, little kids would look at me and go, what's wrong with your face? And I, I would just cry. And you don't know what that feels like until you go through it.